Welcome to your Better Than Kegels routine. This routine is designed to help you maintain a healthy pelvic floor. So that's gonna include strengthening your pelvic floor, but a healthy pelvic floor means the ability to not only contract, but also release. And that's something that often gets left out of exercises like Kegels or things that we're often told are helpful for our pelvic floor. So Pilates is one of the best things you can be doing. So you should already be proud that you are here. And in this routine, we're gonna get into the deep work of the pelvic floor. So some of the exercises may not feel flashy or fancy. Some of them, you really just have to feel them in your own body. You won't even see much happening. But with time and practice, you're gonna notice an incredible benefit. This can help with everything from your ability to run, jump, sneeze, laugh without leaking. Um, this can help with incontinence. This can help with sexual function all the things related to pelvic floor. Now, remember, our pelvic floor is also just responsible for holding our organs in our body. It plays a very important function, as well as facilitating movement through the core. So sometimes people can feel kind of uncomfortable with this conversation, but I want you to know it is just a normal group of muscles, just like any other group. And Pilates is one of the best things we can do to not only strengthen the pelvic floor, but maintain healthy muscle function. So I'm gonna use the ball occasionally. If you have a ball, you can hit pause and go grab one. If you don't have a ball, you could use a folded towel. You could use um, a pillow, like a throw pillow, or you can do this without a ball as well. So whatever works for you today. So the first exercise we're gonna do, we just wanna start seated. And you can sit any way that's comfortable for you. So you can sit like me, or you could sit in a chair. And we're gonna think about the pelvic floor muscles. I'm gonna set the ball to the side here for just a second. The pelvic floor muscles are, you can think of them like a basket weave of muscles right inside the base of your pelvis. So take a nice big inhale. And as you exhale, I want you to imagine that you are lifting the basket weave of muscles up out of the base of the pelvic floor and then release back down, okay? Inhale to prepare, exhale to lift, contract and release, fully release. That's the important part that a lot of people forget. And then we actually get overly tight in our pelvic floor. So contract and fully release. Go ahead and close your eyes. And depending on where you're at in your journey, you may feel like very little here. You may be like, I'm trying, but nothing is happening. That's okay. You gotta build that mind to muscle connection and you will see progress with practice. Or you may feel it. And I'm gonna give you a visual that again, we don't need to be embarrassed here. Just pelvic floor muscles, okay? And we've got this concepts that can help us, these cues. So I want you to imagine actually that you are pulling a tissue out of a tissue box using your pelvic floor muscles and then releasing back down. Okay, so you're pulling the tissue up out of the tissue box and releasing back down. What that does is actually different than a Kegel's cue because you're gonna get that grab and lift feeling, that kind of scoop and lift, which actually is gonna help you to engage the pelvic floor more effectively. Sometimes in Kegel's we're actually not even getting to our pelvic floor and release. So imagine grabbing the tissue and pulling it up out of the tissue box and fully releasing. And just know that healthy pelvic floor function is, no, is important no matter who you are, men and women alike. Good. Okay, so you can do this throughout the day and just notice it's very similar to Kegel, but there's a couple different cues that I want you to think about and I want you to also start to think of lifting the belly button up towards the spine while you maintain that tissue motion and releasing back down. Now totally relax, okay? Kind of wiggle side to side. And now we're gonna kind of quicken that pace. Little, little flicks because we have slow twitch muscles and fast twitch muscles and we wanna work both. So now same motion, but just contract, release. Contract, release. Contract, release. Remember, it's not a squeezing, it's a lifting of the tissue and release. Lift release, lift, release, three more, and two, and one, fully relax and release. Good, go ahead and come down now to your back. So in whatever way is comfortable for you, if you're gonna use a ball or a towel or a pillow, place it just between your knees, rest your arms long down by your side. We're gonna do the exact same thing, just in a different position. So imagine, the lift of the pelvic floor onto the base of the pelvis, the pulling of the tissue, and fully release, even feeling your sit bones kind of widen, your glute muscles relax. Okay, lift, 
and release. Just two more like that. Lift, pull the tissue, fully relax and release. Really like give yourself that exhale to make sure you fully get that relaxation. Last one. Fully relax and release. Good, now we're gonna go into that fast twitch, ready? So contract, release, contract, release, contract, release. Keeping the tissue visual in your mind. Our muscles respond to how we visualize them moving. So that's important connection. Last two and release. Good, now add the squeeze of the ball. So squeeze as you lift the pelvic floor and release the ball. Squeeze and release two more squeeze and release squeeze and release let's roll up into a pelvic curl using the pelvic floor here to lift the hips off of the mat you're still engaged in that pelvic floor as you're reaching your fingertips long towards your heels soften the chest and then here's a reminder as you come into neutral spine fully release and relax the pelvic floor so anytime you're doing a pelvic floor or a, or a pelvic curl or a bridge in your Pilates workouts, this is the movement and the engagement that we should be having in our pelvic floor. The contraction on the way up and the full release and relax at the bottom, okay? Our body was designed to contract and release. Think of your bicep muscles. They have to do the same thing. If you had a bicep muscle that was constantly contracted, we would never straighten our arm, right? It would not be good. We need both, both functions for a healthy muscle. Good, and fully release back down. You can take the ball out, place it to the side, bring your right knee to tabletop, draw the belly button to spine, bring your left knee to tabletop. We're gonna do something called a bent knee fallout. And now you can modify this, but I'll show you the full version first. Keep your right leg right where it is in space. Inhale, let your left leg open like a book. So try to keep your pelvis steady and exhale, close it back in. Other side, inhale, just hinging directly out on that 90 degree angle like you're opening a book. Exhale, pull it back in. So only go as far as you can without rolling over and losing that stability in your pelvis. If you wanna modify this, simply just keep your toes on the mat. Inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale, good. Continue with this. If you want to have a little bit more of a coordination challenge, do your opposite arm at the same time, holding the ball in your hand. But if that takes your focus away from what you're feeling in your pelvic floor, then I would just keep with the basic exercise. This really makes me think. <laughs> and inhale and exhale whichever version you're doing keep moving inhale and exhale so really your pelvic floor is allowing to open and then it's allowing to contract this is helping in a different angle different range of motion let's do one more and hug your knees in towards you good releasing and relaxing fully relax the sit bones the pelvic floor take a nice big inhale exhale go ahead and push your shins into your hands nod your chin towards your chest let's roll up to seated and go ahead and bring your legs straight in front of you you're going to place the ball between your ankles if you have it and again what this does is it just helps to activate the inner thigh muscles the muscles that run up the interior of the leg which also then helps us connect to the pelvic floor so it's just optional prop that helps you um, go ahead and bring your hand hands behind your head head back into your hands drop the shoulders away from your ears sitting up nice and tall let's spine twist inhale and exhale to center spine twist inhale and exhale to center so the other thing I like about having the ball here is it keeps you focused on your center and you shift less then when you don't have the ball sometimes it's easy for your hips to shift with you but this requires you to maintain that core pelvic floor connection as you twist. Good, one more to each side. Release the arms, relax your shoulders. From here, we're gonna to transition to standing. So come to standing in whatever way is comfortable for you. 
squatting is one of the best things we can do for our pelvic floor because it really helps mimic the movement that we need in our pelvis of a widening of the pelvic floor, a widening of the sit bones, and then a lift and contract as we stand. So I'm gonna use the ball between my knees and you can do that if you'd like. And it can help you to feel again, connected to inner thighs all the way up into the pelvic floor. But if you don't like that feeling or you feel like it's actually getting in the way for you, then just place the ball or the, the towel or the pillow off to the side, okay? So we're standing about hip distance apart and I'm gonna come to face this way so you can see me better. Standing up nice and tall. And we're gonna inhale as we imagine that we're sitting back in a chair. So if you need to grab something for balance, feel free. But notice that my, I'm not, you know, my knees are not protruding forward. I am going way back in that chair, sticking that booty way behind me. And when I do, I am letting the back of the pelvis, the sit bones widen. That's important. From here, bring the sit bones up together, lift the pelvic floor, stand nice and tall. Let's inhale back, exhale, stand. Inhale back. Exhale, lift with the pelvic floor. Go ahead and squeeze the glutes at the top. Lift the thigh muscles. Feel fully engaged in that lower body. Even pushing through the air with your hands as if you're pushing through mud. Let's do three more like this. Two. And one. Good, hands to your hips. Finding your balance, we're gonna just roll up onto the ball of the foot and lower down. Again, decide here if you like the ball or not. You can get great work either way. What I want you to think about, what matters the most to me, is that you are imagining that pelvic floor lift as you lift your heels and relax and release as your feet spread back out into the mat. Lift and release. You can grab something for balance or move to a place where you have something sturdy. Fully relax and release as you feel your hips or your heels press into the mat. Feel your back of your pelvis release and your pelvic floor to relax. Now lift and engage. Spread out the heels, release and relax. Let's put it together. So we're going to come down into a squat. Activate the pelvic floor and lift and fully release lift. I'm actually going to take the ball out for this. I feel like it's getting in my way just a little bit. And lift and release. Activate and lift. Lower and release. Let's do three more. Lift. Sit back. Good. Last one and good release remember that this is something that you can do any time of day while your coffee is brewing while you're waiting for the water to boil getting some of these squats in to help really make that pelvic floor connection mind to muscle let's end down on our mat with one final stretch we're going to go into a butterfly stretch so we don't do this very often in pilates this reminds me of gym class when i was a kid i don't know if it does for any of you but just letting the inner thighs lengthen again that pelvic floor relax and release here and go ahead and make this work for you so if you like to lean forward and that feels good to you go ahead and do that if this feels like a little much and you just want to bring your knees a little bit more open you can do that so pick what works for you and just take a few big deep breaths if this really doesn't feel right you could try extending one leg and keeping one leg bent see how that feels really just to get the opening through the inner thighs and the pelvic floor. Good. Okay, one more breath here. Exhale, release all your tension, growing tall in your spine. Good. And you are done for the day. Great job completing this workout. Please return to this workout frequently, as often as you need, to really maintain a healthy pelvic floor and I will see you back on your mat very soon.